Ever pondered why our number system jumps from 9 to 10? Or why a circle is divided into 360 degrees, not 400? Well, buckle up for a journey of discovery into a world where circles have 400 degrees and our numbers only go up to 9. Let's start by dissecting the number system. The current decimal system uses digits from 0 to 9, making 10 the base. But what if we eliminated the number 10 and just stopped at 9? That would create a nonary system, a base 9 number system. The nonary system may seem odd at first glance, but it has its advantages. It simplifies calculations. Multiplication, for instance, becomes easier. 9 times 9 is 81, but in a base 9 system, it's simply 100. This system could potentially lead to a more efficient way of doing mathematical computations. Now imagine a world where a circle isn't divided into 360 degrees, but into 400 degrees. It might sound strange, but there's a practical reason behind it. By having a base of 400, each degree would represent a more precise measurement. Think about it. The Earth rotates around its axis once every 24 hours. If we divide those 24 hours into 400 degrees, each degree would represent roughly three and a half minutes. It's a more precise way of representing time. But that's not all. A 400 degree system could also simplify calculations involving angles. For instance, a right angle, currently 90 degrees, would be 100 degrees. A straight line, currently 180 degrees, would be 200 degrees. This could make drawing and calculating angles more straightforward and intuitive. To wrap it up, a base 9 number system and a 400 degree circle could be more logical and practical than the current systems. They could simplify calculations and make them more intuitive. So next time you're dealing with numbers or angles, spare a thought for the nonary system and the 400 degree circle. Maybe, just maybe, they're not as odd as they first seem.